from the outset as the Parliament, we wanted to have and we demand the unrestricted release of uh, the hostages. But now 50 are going to be released on the basis that 150 Palestinian prisoners will be released at the same time. There will be a four-day ceasefire. I'm happy for the families of those hostages being released. What's regrettable is that in the perception of many Palestinians and Arabs, it seems to be Hamas who's managed to force the Israelis into these concessions and that the lengthy peace uh, solution has not come about um, because Palestine hasn't been able to talk to Israel and accept that they have the right to exist. So we as Europeans should have coordinated our responses there with the US. So we had a robust mandate for Gaza, where there be a strong international presence, first of all for humanitarian aid, but then for reconstruction in Gaza. That's something that then has to lead to a process, a peace process, where there be elections that take place and negotiations for a peace, a lasting peace. I'm in favour of Gaza not being allowed to be repeated and we don't see a further intifada in the West Bank because it has to come we have to come to a genuine peace process. The floor is yours.